say okay I value this person I respect this person my heart doesn't change towards this person but I can accept that the, the person's role in my life has come to an end they were with you throughout a particular season they were valuable to you in that season they were close to you in that season but at the end of the day you know seasons change and even so our very life change and the things that we want held dear to us in one season might not be of the same relevance to us in another season. So hi guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, today I just wanted to share a few things that were on my mind. It has been a while since I've made a YouTube video, but today I just felt like speaking on the topic of rejection. As human beings, you know, sometimes we crave acceptance. We want people to accept us. We want to feel welcome in other circles. We want people to see our true worth and to value us for who we really are. But sometimes, I guess, in life, we have to come to a place of understanding that, you know, really and truly, not everybody is going to make life with you. Not everybody is going to be a part of your growth and your development not everybody's going to go through all phases of life with you sometimes god puts some people in your life for a season and as tyler perry says sometimes you have to know when that season has come to an end really and truly we want to make we want to keep the friends that we had from when we were younger we want to keep them in our life forever we want to maintain the relationships but sometimes we really have to understand that as you grow, sometimes you really grow with certain friendship, you grow with certain level of reasoning and thinking. And sometimes you really, as much as you love and you should love and care for people, sometimes you have to acknowledge that not everybody is going to go through all of the phases of life with you. Sometimes you're literally going to grow with some level of reasoning that people have, some kind of thinking that people have. It only going to keep you in a box. And so you have to learn to grow and accept that you know you are changing and sometimes you're not going to have anything relatable um to discuss with these people sometime you later and that is the truth sometime your level your mind is going to evolve and your mind are going to change your mind are going to grow and the things that you used to can relate with certain kind of circles you realize that no these people are not on the same tangent that i am on and it's not like you're going to reject them but sometimes they even reject themselves it's just that you are growing and with growing you have to break yourself free out a certain kind of thinking out a certain way of operation out a certain company that you usually keep and sometimes god himself allows you to lose some, some kind of friends and you never don't feel like you have to maintain every relationship and even on the same level sometimes your friendships will change and people that you went through a season with sometimes God literally put people in your life for a season and sometimes you'll go through that season and the season come to an end and it hurts come to an end and it hurts you but you have to realize that you know this person served a purpose in my life for a season I value this person for this season and it comes to a point probably where the person doesn't want it to be a part of their life anymore you have to say okay I value this person i respect this person my heart doesn't change towards this person but i can accept that the, the person's role in my life has come to an end they were with you throughout a particular season they were valuable to you in that season they were close to you in that season but at the end of the day you know seasons change and even so our very life change and the things that we want held dear to us in one season might not be of the same relevance to us in another season so sometimes god will even allow people to leave your life to protect you right because some people will value you for as long as you are on a certain level and that is true as true it can be some people are gonna some people are gonna love you when you are beneath them and when they can use you for their own purposes when they can basically you know have you at a footstool kind of level but as soon as you start to elevate yourself it's like they start their um the kind of vibe that they have towards you the kind of heart that they have towards you the approach and attitude that they have towards you it changes and so you have to basically just be cognizant be aware of these things and just grow and allow life to really just take you through the process and you know the next thing too is 
don't feel bad when people walk away from you sometimes it's not to say that you're not gonna hurt but don't dwell on it and and try to think from a different change of perspective when people walk away from you don't take it personally don't put it on yourself to say that oh that mean my value gone down or oh i wasn't good enough to maintain my place in this person's life no don't take it personal like that look at it from a different point of view god might be just protecting you from this person hurting you in some form of way when people walk away from you just know that this person might have other reasons to walk away from you outside of it being about you and something that you didn't do correct something that you did wrong just thank god sometimes when people walk away from you thank god because it showed that they weren't really supposed to be in your life to begin with because a lot of times we feel like oh we need to do some grand thing to keep and maintain some kind of friendship or relationships trust me the people that are really for you you're not gonna have to do nothing out of the world some of the best relationships and friendships that I've had, speaking personally, are people that I never did nothing out of the way for them yet, but God just kind of placed them in my life. God just kind of positioned them in my life to for them to care for me and love me for who I am, so I don't even have to be doing nothing out of the way. I don't even have to be trying to prove myself to nobody, but they just care for me and love me for who I am. And we should always seek to have those kind of friendships because you will always have people, trust me, you'll always have people that are gonna value you and love you for who you are. And it makes no sense trying to chase down people or trying to convince somebody that please stay in my life, please remain my friend. If somebody really values it, you, you don't have to try to convince them and persuade them. And if, if somebody really values you, they will find all the reason to stay you ever see some toxic relationships and these people stay in these relationships amidst all of the abuse and all of the, the disorder and this is not good but i'm just saying that people will stay in situations that they want to stay in and people will care for people who they choose to care for and it's all a matter of choices it's all a matter of people choosing that you know what i value this person enough Based off of my relationship with this person, based off of what me and this person shares, I value this person enough to keep them in my life and I value the relationship enough to maintain it. Regardless of the imperfection of the person because we're all imperfect in one way or another. So I, as much as I am going to accept their imperfection, they value me enough to accept my imperfection and the relationship can be sustained on that level. So. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a matter of knowing your value, it's a matter of knowing your worth and understanding that people are people. They're free to come into your life, they're free to go. Don't, don't, um, don't evaluate yourself or measure yourself based off of somebody's ability to accept you or somebody's ability to reject you. It's a choice. Maintain who you are, be true to yourself at the end of the day. The right people will come into your life the right people will stay in your life so basically <laughs> these are my thoughts on the whole aspect of rejection and being rejected is not an easy thing but learn to value yourself learn to not place a value upon yourself based on what somebody else thinks of you or based on somebody else's idea of you and Please don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Take care, bye.